Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to update Microsoft Excel both on the desktop and on your mobile devices. This is a super quick and easy to um, follow tutorial so if you do find it useful you know what to do and with that said let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay, so here I am just within a blank Excel document. And the whole purpose of this is to basically ensure that we are on the latest version and we have all the latest um, formulas and, uh, that are available via our 365 subscription. Um, so what we're going to do is just head over to the ribbon here and click on File. From File, we want to scroll all the way down to where it says Account. We'll click on Account. And then on the far right hand side here, it says Office Updates and then we have a little drop down menu. And what we're going to do, um, well, a couple of things to point out here is if you don't see this option, you first of all have to enable updates. Okay, so where I see disable, you'll probably see enable. You click on the enable updates and then you can now update, okay? So once um, updates enabled, um, you can click on this update now button and this will check for and apply updates to the entirety of the applications that you have downloaded via your Microsoft 365 subscription. Okay, so I'm just going to click that click. Um, it's gone through and checked. I'm already up to date um, on the latest version. However, um, for you guys, you might actually see a different box pop up here after checking um, and it will be saying something along the lines of downloading updates. Now, depending on how fast your internet connection is will depend on how fast the download actually occurs. Once the download has been completed, you'll get a new dialog box pop up. This is probably one of the most important dialog boxes for this entire process. Um, and this one will actually tell you to save all of your existing work um, before continuing. And the reason for that is this update is going to basically update all of your 365 applications in one go, not just Excel, but also Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, uh, Outlook, etc. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go into those applications, save all your work, make sure that everything is um, securely saved so you don't lose any work that you've been working on, um, and then click continue. Once you hit that continue button, Microsoft will um, go through and close all of the applications for you. It will then apply the updates to all of the applications you have installed and then um, it will reopen all of those applications on the exact documents that you are working on. Okay, so there's no need to close the applications yourself. Just make sure that you save your work so you do not lose anything. Um, not so important if you use OneDrive because um, all, all, the, uh, say, all, all your data is basically saved dynamically, um, and likewise for SharePoint. But if you're saving anything to a a networked drive or to your C drive or something like that, you're going to want to make sure you save it. Um, once all those applications are loaded up, you'll then see this pop up uh, message here saying that you are up to date and um, you can just go ahead and close that. With that closed, um, you can now enjoy all of the latest features and functions that Microsoft Excel has to offer. Um, that's how you'd handle your desktop applications. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the iPhone here. Um, and what we're going to do is see how we'd go about updating our Excel applications on our iPhone. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually just head over to the App Store. Within the search function of the App Store, I can actually search for Microsoft Excel. Okay, give that a search. Um, and what we can do here is find the actual application. So this one here that you can see um, I have already got installed Microsoft Excel and it says open. Now it says open if there is no update available and it would say update if there's an update available. Okay so just by searching for the application in the app store you can determine whether or not you actually need to update this app or not. Okay um, the other way you can go about doing this is actually clicking on your avatar at the top right hand corner scrolling down to where your update sections are and you can see all of the uh, various applications that you have installed ready for updates. Okay, so I have 13 updates needed in uh, my iPhone here um, and I can scroll through these and update them as needed or click on the update all button which will just go ahead and update all the applications I have installed where updates are available. And guys, it is as easy as that 
to go ahead and make sure that you are updated to the latest version of Microsoft Excel. If you found this useful, you know what to do, and I will catch you guys in the next video.